I got started in farming approximately when I was three years old. I was a typical farm boy at that time. I followed my dad everywhere. Um, he couldn't hardly turn around if I wasn't under his feet. Uh, college wasn't really even on the radar because I figured I could start my own business and that's what I would do in four years anyway. So I met Debbie uh, when we were at a youth group thing through our church. She has been my rock. Um, she exemplifies what the, the biblical persona of a biblical person should be. And uh, we come home and we always strategize together. We have what we call, most of the time it's at a coffee break, but daily briefing meetings where we talk about family, strategy, investments, uh, career, what we're gonna do in the next five years. And we're always making our business decisions together. Our family started in 1981 when David and I were married. We had our first son, Derek. He is uh, currently living in Gridley with his wife, Sarah. Our second son, Jordan, lives in Peoria with his wife, Miranda. Our daughter, Chloe, is 28 and she lives in Indianapolis. We're pretty proud of our kids and we decided to hang the, their flags from their alma maters up on the wall. So we had one Illinoisan, we have an ISU, uh, Illinois State, and Butler. And then because, as I said earlier, I didn't go to college, I did learn an awful lot and from one of the best instructors that there probably is in agriculture, my dad, his name was Floyd. So I found a flag that has FM on it and I went to the University of Floyd Meese. David has a lot of qualities that serve him well as a farmer. I think a lot of character qualities. I think um, first and foremost, he's a man of faith and that pays, plays a key role in keeping his focus clear. Um, you know, you can only do so much as a farmer and then you have to let it go. He's a very careful thinker. He th he makes decisions only after they've been very well thought out. I think he's a great steward of the soil. Some of my conservation measures have started years and years ago, even before we had technology to do it maybe as correctly or at least as accurately as we do today. We're, we are doing strip till, we are doing zone till, we're doing some, uh, well, we're doing quite a bit of variable rate fertilizer. I've implemented conservation waterways, buffer strips. We do quite a bit of tiling to try to control erosion. We've, we've done uh, a new project a few years ago with some dry dams. About three years ago, we put up a solar system and the system itself is designed and sized to almost run our whole farm. Josh Nixon has been driving up and helping us. It's going on 11 years. Uh, he drives over an hour to come work for us and he's become like family. He takes care of most of the mechanicals and does a lot of the other technical type decisions and equipment and he's been just a great asset for us and we couldn't be more happy to have him on board. I think one of the most important motivating factors for us is to spend our time in something that will outlast us something that has eternal value. We've taken an active role in Life Song, and we've also just taken a role in the community, doing things for people, trying to serve them well. One thing we do is for um, one of our good friends lost a daughter to sarcoma, and we host a run every year, a fundraiser for them, and that kind of gives back to that organization. Well, my favorite thing about farming is probably the fact that you get to see miracles every day or almost every day and you see God's creation at work. There's nothing like in the fall after a long day and we're tired and the radios all light up with chatter when the, one of the most beautiful sunsets you can imagine goes down and there's nothing more dramatic than our Creator painting a beautiful picture like that. I think David has done an excellent job at teaching me how to love and appreciate agriculture. I think it says a lot for a farmer if his wife can work beside him for 40 years and she still wants to work some more. When I got word that I was nominated to be a master farmer, I was truly, truly humbled and I couldn't um, 
didn't, didn't maybe think I would be at that position ever, but it's very humbling and I hope I live up to, you know, the name, but been watching for years, seeing different people I really highly respected and looked up to, and I'm thankful to be a part of that group.